name's Laura Thompson. I'm a Gunda Jamara woman. I have two businesses, The Crew Circle and Spark Health. The Crew Circle, it's an Aboriginal designed um, earring shop. I'm wearing a pair now. I've got the um, bungee earrings in. So I have um, about 12 stockists um, in and around Australia and one internationally. The other business I have is called Spark Health. It's an Aboriginal health promotion business and we find ourselves in some unusual spaces from footy clubs to prisons, promoting health. And we like to say that we're in the business of adding years to people's lives. When I grew up, I wanted to make things better for my mob. I wasn't exactly sure what that looked like. Like, I was the first person to finish high school in my family. I don't often reflect on that, actually. I don't often reflect on growing up in commission at all because I feel very lucky and privileged all the time I think how lucky am I you know I really am lucky and when I look at some of the challenges that my mob face every day I just think you're doing so well. Some of the um, Aboriginal women who've been my role models are my mother Rose Dwyer who's um, unfortunately she's no longer here she would have loved to have seen me do this <sighs> and sorry and my grandmother Edna Brown and my auntie Elma Thorpe. She gave me this rock to keep me grounded. And when she asked me about my new business, she wanted to know what was my philosophy. That really moved me because that should be your driver of everything you do in business. And it was then that we got really clear about that. We were really 100% in the business to work with for our mob to add years to their lives. And we do that through health education and promotion and building relationships with people. I've always had this attitude of, I'm not hurting one, I'm just gonna give it a go and I'm determined. And I've got a great business partner that I work with, Sarah, and I love to share what I do. So being able to bounce off a business partner in Spark Health um, has been fabulous. There are so many opportunities for um, Aboriginal women, like to me they've always been the leaders and backbones of the community and now to see that there's opportunities in business, um, I'm just, I know that women will rise up and take on those roles and we don't often reflect and go woohoo we're women in business because it's just what we do.